Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, members of our jury and our special guests. I'm Renuka Kirpalani and riding shotgun with me for the evening is my friend Rishikesh Kanan. We wish you a very warm welcome to the Autocar India Awards 2023 presented by Reliance General Insurance in partnership with Times Network and in association with Apollo Tires, technology partner Orbitsis and Maps and mobility partner Map My India. As always, these awards are a celebration of the exceptional as they have been for the past 21 years. Now, we all have an opinion on aesthetics and aesthetics are important, aren't they, Rishi? We might have cars that are smarter than us and provide the most luxurious of experiences, but design and styling are still amongst the top factors on a car buyer's priority list. That leads us to the award for the best design and styling. To hand over the award, we would like to invite our juror, Mr. Manmendra Singh, on stage. And while every car is eligible, here are the top few that won the highest votes. The award goes to Kia EV6. I think uh, the design, the look, uh, everything about the car is very, very stylish. It's not only the interiors, but the uh, exteriors, but also the interiors which are people are fascinated uh, with. To give away the Viewer's Choice Car of the Year Award, we would like to have with us an auto car loyalist whose voice was in sync with thousands of others. Clyde D'Souza, may we have you up here on stage. And may we also invite Mr. Samir Karpatil, Director PP Karpatil Constructions, to come and join him. Good evening. Uh, the Viewer's Choice Car of the Year goes to Mahindra Scorpio N. God of love, Mahindra Scorpio N. Clearly, Scorpio is an iconic brand in the Indian SUV market. Uh, so glad that the viewers, thanks to all our customers, and I collect this uh, award on behalf of all my colleagues at Mahindra. Can we invite Autocar fan Pranav Shetty to join Mr. Karpatil on stage to give away the Viewer's Choice Bike of the Year Award and the nominees are... And the award for the Viewer's Choice Bike of the Year goes to Royal Enfield Hunter 350. Yeah, if, if motorcycling was like a caffeine hit, then Hunter would be like a double espresso shot. So it's all the intense flavors of pure motorcycling in a condensed, tight, compact uh, looking muscular frame. So just love the Hunter, yeah. That brings us to the next category, Premium Bike of the Year, which saw a healthy lineup of contenders. May we request Shapur Kotwal, Deputy Editor, Autocar India, to come up on stage and give away the next two awards. And the winner is uh, the Suzuki Katana. We are quite confident that. And this street bike would uh, finally achieve the same kind of a patronage that uh, the Hayabusa has been able to secure in the sports tourist space. Now on to the next category, the import bike of the year. And the import bike of the year is the Triumph Tiger 1200 Rally Pro. keep uh, receiving feedback from our customers on what they want more and more in the bikes. I think that's uh, our response to that is what keeps the Tiger live and kicking among the uh, adventure enthusiasts in the country. And this next award is to recognize the best green two-wheeler of 2022. To give away the award, may we have on stage Rishad Modi, editor of bikes at Autocar India. The green two-wheeler of the year is the TVS IQ Bess. Uh, this is the 
this is this is towards the mass market adoption of uh, electric vehicles in two wheelers. So, so this is to it. Thank you. We move on now to one of our favorite two wheeler categories, a segment dedicated to speed, thrills, and excitement. The performance bike of the year is the Ducati Street Fighter V2. Last year also we won for Street Fighter V4 and now with the smaller sibling it is V2. So we are very happy and it's a great, great feeling winning this award. Okay, we're back to four wheels now. To give away the Hatchback of the Year award, I'd like to invite on stage Mr. Mukesh Arora, Head Motor Claims, Reliance General Insurance. Hatchback of the Year award goes to Maruti Suzuki Bellino. So Hatchback is still uh, the very loved category by the many Indian people and we are very excited that uh, we get uh, such a prestigious award from Motorka. Thanks, thank you very much for that. So this next category turns the spotlight on some exemplary sedans that have breathed new life in the segment. To give away the award for the mid-size sedan of the year, may I invite on stage Mr. Tarun Khanna, Head Digital and Strategy, Reliance General Insurance. Good evening everyone. And the award goes to Volkswagen Virtus. It's a class leading product. Uh, big in every way, big in design, big in size, big in performance, big in efficiency. So I think fully deserved and uh, more importantly a big thanks to all the customers and all the jury who have uh, loved the Virtus as much as we do. Piyush, any words from you? I think so. It is also a representation of the great work which the team has done and the Volkswagen team has done a splendid job to sell that car. Thank you so much. Thank you. Which is Autocar India's luxury sedan for 2023? Now, while I have a look at the nominees, I'd like to invite Mr. Rohan Verma, CEO and Executive Director, Map My India, to come up on stage and give away this award. And the award goes to the Mercedes Maybach S Class. For Mercedes-Benz, the challenge is always how to make a car better than the S-Class. And I think the Maybach is a perfect answer for us. Uh, and I'm glad uh, this got the well-deserved Autocar Award for the luxury car of the year. Thank you very much. Compact SUVs might be ruling the roost at the moment. But there's also a very clear shift in line with global markets. And that's towards bigger cars, higher trims, tech-enabled features. We're talking, of, of course, about the mid-sized SUVs. I'd like to invite Mr. Sandeep Mathur, Group Head, OEM and Institutional Business, Asia Pacific, Middle East and Africa, at Apollo Tires to give away the award. Good evening, everybody. The winner is Maruti Suzuki Grand Vitara. You know, the Grand Vitara was always uh, a winner, I thought, right from the word go. And uh, the great number of bookings that it has received is a testimony of the fact that it's uh, been accepted very well by the Indian consumers. So good technology, great features. I think we have a winner on our hand. Thank you. This is about vehicles, both monocoque and body on frame, that can deal with the rough stuff and yet keep you cool. I'd like to call them the real McCoys. And the off-road of the year is the Mahindra Scorpio N. So we are very happy and thanks to Autocar for choosing Scorpio N as the off-roader of the year. And we look forward to delivering these off-roaders to the customers as soon as possible. So to give away this award for the executive SUV of the year, may we have on stage Mr. Sergius Barreto, Managing Editor, Autocar India. And the executive SUV of the year is the Hyundai Tucson. I think we are very excited Hyundai Tucson has really redefined the SUV segment. 
I think the, the ADAS yeah, level 2 feature and the very exciting design of the Hyundai yeah, Tucson yeah. makes it a great buy. It's time then for the spotlight to shine on Autocar India's MPV of the year for 2023. I'd like to call upon Gurbinder Singh Dilon, founder and director, and Harvinder Pal Singh, chief business officer, Orbitsis, to present this award. Hi everyone, it's Toyota Innova High Cross. Yeah, it's been a very iconic brand right from the day of its launch and we are really happy that uh, at the pinnacle of the awards, that's the Autocar Award, Innova is getting the recognition that uh, it really deserves. So thank you to Autocar Jury as well as to the customer for continuously believing on the Toyota's QDR. Thank you. It's luxury SUVs, a category after my own heart. So the luxury SUV of the year goes to Audi Q3. Absolutely thrilled with this award. I think the most important thing what makes Q3 special is its customers who are driving it. Everybody in India who buys this car loves it and it holds the best value. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a closer look at the nominees for our Performance Car of the Year 2023 and the nominees are. Okay, without any suspense, the winner is Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Yeah, first of all, thanks Autocar to, nom to nominate the car, which actually for us, it's pure performance. And what Porsche stays for is about excellence and excitement. To give away the award for the Green Card of the Year, I'd like to call upon Mr. Jasmeet Singh, Chief Risk Officer, Reliance General Insurance. Uh, good evening, everyone. The Green Card of the Year goes to Tata Tiago EV. Congratulations. India was really looking forward to an aspirational EV which was accessible also. I think Tiago EV has brought many first in class features in the hatch like connected car, cruise control and uh, a price point which is less than 10 lakh. I think this was the expectation of what market was looking for. Our person of the year is an individual who has been this un who has this unerring ability to accurately read the consumer's mind and market dynamics and who has played a key role in reinventing his company. Autocar person of the year. I think this is a Maharashtrian surname, so I feel good about it. Rajesh Jejurikar. I've pronounced it Congratulations, correctly. Mr. Jejurekar. Yeah, thank you so much for the award. Firstly, it's really an honor to receive uh, something as, a, as prestigious as this. Uh, you know, I think it just comes out of investing a lot of time with interacting with customers, dealers, and not just that, not just people who are ready to buy a car, but just understanding uh, the social context in which people live and uh, what inspires them, what motivates them. And I think once you start spending time on that, you start building a judgment. Uh, and also, I guess, a belief that not everything is going to be answered with data and you have to build insight. And really, as leaders, we have to make some hard decisions uh, which allow us to make the quantum leap. With, uh, thank you for assistance. thank you again for the award. The nominees for our next category are all companies that have not just negotiated crisis but pushed the envelope, thought out of the box, and continued to raise the bar. Manufacturer of the year, Tata Motors. It is second time in a row, so really makes us feel proud because in the last two to three years we have grown nearly four times and uh, in very uncertain times, semiconductor crisis, commodity prices increasing, COVID uh, and I think this has absolutely come from a lot of effort by the internal teams to work in a very agile manner 
uh, and with the support of our all our business partners, I would say. But a lot is owed to the customers who have shown faith in our cars, which are being appreciated for its safety, stylish design, and superior performance. So I think we really feel very encouraged and motivated to keep bringing safer, greener and uh, exciting cars for the customers. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now on the home stretch of the Autocar Awards 2023. And the two awards that are still under wraps are the most coveted in the Indian automobile industry. Now let's take a, a quick look for the bike of the year. When we were young, as Mahindra and Tata we used to see, I remember the Chetak my family had. So we always remember the line, Hamara Bajaj. So it's Bajaj Pulsar N160, 160. Oh, first of all, we are very delighted uh, with this recognition for Bike of the Year. A big thank you to Autocar and to everyone who loves the Pulsar. Um, and as I said some while back, you know, uh, the launch of the new platform has now got us back in action with the new Pulsar N160 and we know this mania will continue for years to come now. This is the biggest one, the car of the year. Any calculated guesses? This is the story uh, many, many years ago from the land of rising sun, Japan, which landed in the land of rising young in India and it started as Maruti Suzuki. So Maruti Suzuki Grand Vitara. Woo! Maruti Suzuki Come on, Grand Vitara. Ladies and Vitara gentlemen, is give it up for the car of the year. Here we have back on stage team Maruti Suzuki to come and receive the award. Many, many congratulations. So, uh, th first of all, thank you very much for Autocar for giving us such a prestigious uh, award. And uh, this is a uh, you know, big uh, honor and pleasure for all the team of Maruti Suzuki to receive this uh, you know, Autocar Car of the Year award. So, thank you very much for this.